Hey guys, it's Rick from Torinator, and today I want to show you some general guidance and some general information about Torinator. Some things you might have missed in the previous episodes, in the previous updates. So these are some things you should keep in mind when using the application. And I want to demonstrate one of the cool new features, which are the project loading and saving. Right. So now let's to begin. We have a new torrent site that we now support. We now support um, torrent crazy as well, which brings the total up to 13 separate sites. This isn't the final number. We are consistently working on improving this number, increasing this number to more and more sites, perhaps up to 20, 30, and so forth. So that's that part. Next, um, we have load and save features. Pretty easy. Hit save. It will save your torrent details. It will save your selected torrent websites. It will save your um, de de capture information, proxies, blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. You'll save that in the file. Test save, whatever. Okay, that'll be the project file. And similarly, you can load it from there as well. Right now, obviously, I have nothing in that file, so we load nothing. But it's a very simple thing to do. Now, the next thing is the name tags. I'm not sure if many people are utilizing this now, but it is supported and it's a pretty cool thing. Um, essentially, when you're using multiple separate sites with multiple different torrents that you're uploading. If you use this tag over here, this will automatically replace the title here with your torrent title for each separate torrent file that you're uploading. So it's very useful if you're doing batch uploads and you want to keep your torrent titles consistent, then you can just use this name tag. Pretty simple to do. Uh, keep in mind this is case sensitive so it has to be capital, like so, in caps. Um, if you want to take this a step further, you have the load list of torrent files, which we talked about in the previous video. Um, look at our channel and for more information about that video. But essentially, you can specify exactly the description, category, and title for each individual torrent file in the text file. And you can import the text file, automatically add in you know, however many torrents, whether it's 10, 50, or 500. There's no limit to how many it supports, which is very effective and very quick. Uh, very, very nifty. If you want to add. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run you through a very quick um, setup process of uploading another torrent file using these features. And also, before I go on, with dcapture, there's an interesting thing with dcapture because I know I had some comments coming in about dcapture um, not checking balance or dcapture not working as it should. Now, there are two reasons behind this, and there are two easy things you can do to sort this out. Firstly, um, it may be a permission issue on your computer, so make sure you run the application as administrator. Usually you can do this on any machine by just right clicking um, on whichever application it is. For instance, right click and a little thing will appear that says run as administrator. Same kind of thing, find your Tornator exe file, uh, right click run as administrator. That might help. Um, and secondly, what you might do um, is add Decapture, add Tornator to your firewall list, firewall exceptions list. Now this is helpful because just in case Decapture is being blocked, or if this port is being blocked, then it might not go through. Alternatively, if you're running alternative capture solving software like Capture Sniper or whatnot on your PC that replaces Decapture by default with itself in the host file, then that might stop that might be blocking the connection to the decapture servers. So make sure you disable any third party uh, capture solving software while you're using the application. So that's that. That's pretty simple to do. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Now what I'm going to do now is just upload one torrent file, show you how easy it is to do. In this case just an image, drinks an ivy, me and my buddy having scotch at a nice club in Sydney. So select all the sites. Um, you don't need to check this box. This is uploaded as an anonymous. This is mainly used for the non-login uh, based sites, but you don't need to check it if you want to upload to all uh, 13. Okay, so like so. Enable decapture so I don't have to do anything. Autopilot. Torrent logins, everything is set there. Torrent has been selected. Um, stylish, drinks, scotch, and modeling. So, just a very general description. Pictures, uh, my buddy and I 
photo shooting for our latest company. Dot dot dot. Okay. General description. Um, hit save to save this template. Bang. That's saved. Very easy to do. Now you've done this. Hit add to queue. It's going to appear here. Right click when you're ready to go. Process all queues. It's going to start going ahead and solving all these captures. And there'll be the process, I guess. You'll see it starts saying complete and so forth. I'm not going to uh, walk you through the entire upload process um, because you can get an idea of what's going on. You can run this program with multiple instances, not temporarily, tem uh, typically recommended because it already uses sockets, it's already very, very quick and so forth. Um, but you can if you need to. Also, if you have a VPS, it may perform better. I'm running a very terrible internet connection on my side, so uploads take a little bit longer. But if you have a good upload speeds, or if you're running a VPS with good upload speeds, you'll see this thing flying absolutely you know, two to three seconds per upload, and primarily because we're using sockets, so no internet browser, no controls, none of that kind of stuff. It directly connects to the server and sticks a torrent file into the website. So very cool stuff. Okay, as you can see here, it's completed. Very effective, very efficient, very, very workable, executable, systematic. I can use as many buzzwords as necessary to describe this program, but even that won't do it enough justice. Now, as usual, um, the fantastic browser feature here tells you what's going on if you get a simple error. Um, in this case, let's see what it says. If, please log in and register for upload. Okay, that's fair. Um, obviously, I don't have an extra torrent account my torrent logins and judging by that I don't or it may have been deleted but um yeah so it's very very workable very very uh, executable and that's the general gist so that's for today's episode uh, st stay tuned for t next week where we'll be talking about new methods we can use to start making money online more efficiently with torrent editor with torrents thanks